Hi, and welcome back, everybody. Well, one of the solutions to the Gulf Coast oil disaster could lie in the high desert just north of Reno. This is an interesting yeah. one. Today, Aaron Breen learned more about Pozzolan, what it is, how it works. It's a story you will only see right here on Channel 2. It's called Pozzolan, and these tiny nuggets from the desert may just prove a big help in the Gulf. To show you what they do, first, we created an oil slick. So we have some crude oil here. Basically, this powder is unique volcanic ash with special spores trapped inside. It grabs the oil and, uh, and encapsulates it immediately. It's, uh, it's very quick. The spores literally trap the oil and transform it back into a fatty acid that falls to the bottom of the tank. You can really see how it sucks in the material. Can you see it working? The oil is changed on a molecular level. Dr. Reinhard Brook is a physicist. Eugene Long runs a nonprofit. It's called Angels for a Clean Planet. Now, they say that Pozzolan is non toxic to the fish. It can be swept up from the sand, picked up like tar balls. It's easy to use on wildlife, and it makes surface oil skimmable. It's like fat on a soup. Yeah. And they say BP and a number of nonprofits in the Gulf have contacted them, hoping for help in the sensitive marshes and with the shorebirds. While the massive oil spill in the deep water will be left to other methods, Pozzolan is proving promising. We've got 50,000 tons standing by, and that will clean up a lot of the stuff that's, that's getting near shore. Which would come as very welcome relief to all kinds of residents just trying to survive. Covering the story, Aaron Breen, Channel 2 News. So now you're probably asking, what are they waiting for? Well, the final go-ahead from the EPA and BP. Of course, we will keep you posted.